Hello, welcome to Jaslan Seville. This is the second tutorial in Autolist. We will see how to lay out column in grid, introduction to writing code in Autolist, and draw rectangle, circle, and line. You can download these files from the given link. The link will also be provided in description. Go to the link, download the code as zip file, then extract it, you will get these files. Now I have already shown in the previous video how to upload this in AutoCAD using upload function. We have already seen how to lay footing, wall and column in x and y direction but it was of regular interval. Now we will see how to lay column in x direction in irregular interval. Layout column X I R R. It will ask you to input interior columns. Now input those interior columns and the distance between them center to center. Let's see how to do this. Now we got three interior column and the distance between them has also been mentioned here. You can see some overlapping, you will have to manually edit it. This layout column X and layout column X IRR both are same function. We have already seen how to do this. Only difference is that you have to enter the interval of each column. Similar is the process for Y I R R. Let's see. Enter positive to go in positive direction and negative to go in negative direction of X and Y value. Now let's see for layout grid column. This is the grid column. Now you will be asked to enter the number of rows. Then here 1, 2, 3, 4 and number of column 1, 2 and 3. Then you will be asked to enter, enter the interval between the rows. Interval between these two, interval between these two and so on. As discussed earlier, number of rows we will enter 4 because there are 4 rows 1, 2, 3, 4 and 3 number of columns 1, 2, 3 and when asked interval, for column we will enter this interval and this interval. For rows we will enter 1, 2 and this 3 interval.
enter interval of grid rows 1 then we have to enter this interval enter interval of grid column 1 now enter this interval and this interval respectively now your column grid is prepared now you might have noticed how the elements were drawn one by one not all at once because autolisp is a interpreter language had it been a compiler type of language then it would have been drawn at once now let's see how we can write code in autolisp introduction to writing code go to visual editor by manage menu then visual editor visual lisp editor Here is the manage menu then go to visual lisp editor you can also go by command the command you will see here plide will produce this Now view the Lisp console. We will see the difference of C programming and Auto Lisp. You might have studied C programming language. So once you know one type of programming language, only comparison. Of syntax and then you can go on here we discussed earlier what is compiler type and interpreter type in the compiler compiler type all the codes are compiled and then executed at once in interpreter the execution is line by line now in C programming you write a equals to 5 and B equals to 6 it means 5 is assigned to a and 6 is assigned to B but in auto lisp you use instead of equal sign you use set q and then variable name and value again variable name value you can write as many as you want and the function should be enclosed in the bracket this set q is a function and it should be enclosed in a bracket let's see how to do in visible list editor Now you can check the values. I entered A and it returned the value 5. Now when I enter B, it will return the value 6 because these values have been assigned. Now similarly, addition can be done in C programming simply by just equals to A 5 plus 3. But here you have to use a function plus. This is the symbolic function and it should also be enclosed in the bracket this plus and after that all the numbers are added here plus 5 space 3 it means 5 plus 3 similarly for minus 5 minus 3 and so on for divide and multiply as well and set q means the result is stored in yes If you enter only plus 5, 3, then it will return 8, but it is not stored in any variable. If you want to store it in any variable, so you have to use set Q.
if you divide integer by integer you will get integer result but if you divide real number by real number then you will get real number answer in C programming you will use this to get array but here we use list in the similar manner list is also enclosed in the bracket and then assign to mark let's see list is created but it hasn't been assigned to assign we have to use set queue Now let's draw a rectangle. To draw a rectangle we need two point. Those point must be diagonal. Suppose this is a rectangle and we have P100 then 8 in x direction. So this is 80 and 4 in y direction. So these are the coordinates. Then we will use only two coordinates either P1, P3 or P4, P2 to draw rectangle. And this is the rectangle command. Let's see how to do this in auto list we already saw how to make list list and how to assign those list to a variable we need to write this code in separate file let's see how to open that file Now it will draw a rectangle. only add center of circle so center of circle would be here this is 8 and this is 4 then 8 is divided by 2 and 4 is divided by 2 then we need a radius 1 is the radius let's see half of 8 is 4 and half of 4 is 2 C0 is center and 1 is radius. Here rectangle and circle is drawn.
Now let's see why we need this. This double inverted comma means pressing enter. Suppose I draw line here. Now if I want to finish it here, I have to press enter otherwise it will ask to continue. So I pressed enter. Here also line will be drawn from P1 to P3 then again it will ask another point and if you press enter then it will stop drawing. 